<laughs> I want to tell you a story. I went to a party. I don't really go to parties very often um, now. I don't really like them, but I like the food. I love, oh, I love canopies. A little tiny thing that's like one bite is different from the next bite, and it's quite a nice... You know, I would have canopies for every meal if I could, but it's just too weird, right? You can't just sit watching TV with a big silver tray and, you know, <laughs> pretend, you, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. That's, don't mind if I do. I prefer canopies to sort of really high-end restaurant food. I went to a Michelin restaurant in London. This is a true story. I walked in and the maitre d' greeted me. It was just me. I'd booked a table for myself. It was a special occasion. I'd just finished a tour. I thought, treat yourself right, Danny. So I went in and I said, I've got a table booked for one at eight o'clock. He said, is that you? <laughs> Good guess, dickhead. Yeah, it's, <laughs> of course it's me. What? I'm not going to book a table for someone else. Just, oh, I've just come to check on the table that I've booked for another guy. <laughs> you know, just for next week. He said, well, I'm this is what he said. He said, I'm afraid I can't allow you in the restaurant without a jacket. I said, what, what are you talking about? He said, well, uh, we have a very strict dress code here, sir. If a patron comes and sees you, he might be offended. Really? People are offended. I, don't I said, all right, look, there's a booth over there. I'll go and sit in there. There's no one, no one will be able to see me in there. And I'm not going to complain about myself, right? I'm not going to, uh, waiter, what is this? <laughs> is this the kind of guy you're letting in here now, eh? Hey, let's let me see the manager. I want to see the manager. He said, I may have a solution, sir. I said, what is it? He said, we can lend you a jacket. <laughs> I said, I don't know how comfortable I am about that. You know, the whole idea of this meal was for me to feel special, not homeless. You know, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to sit there in someone else's jacket for... He said, it was okay, sir. Um, you can take the jacket off when you get to the table. <laughs> Is this, are you serious? You're kidding me. He said, no. I said, okay, go and get the jacket then. He got the jacket. I put the jacket on. Without a word of a lie, we walked maybe eight or ten feet <laughs> to the table in silence. And then he turned to me and he said, can I take your jacket? <laughs> Yes, that would be lovely. <laughs> what a charade. What a charade. At the end of the meal, <laughs> it gets even worse. He brings the bill, he puts it down, he says, how was everything? I said, it was delicious. He said, you will come again. I said, I think I might. He said, well, was there anything else? I said, I believe I had a jacket. <laughs> He said, no, you didn't have a jacket, sir. I said, let me ask you this, pal. How did I get into your restaurant without a jacket? <laughs> Go and check the rules at the front desk. Jacket, please. Pronto. <laughs> so I got a free jacket from this um, <laughs> restaurant. Now, it's quite an elaborate way to get a free jacket, but I got it. Hello, uh, Hunan Palace. <laughs> I was wondering what kind of food you specialize in. Oh, it is Chinese food, okay. My wife is very Italian. We have a little baby now, too. It's very exciting now. I have a year and a half old daughter. Thank you, you're a warm bunch of people. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, I'm not gonna bore you. <laughs>